Wear and Tear is a new Blender add-on that will help you add more life to your models by making them look old and damaged. Let me explain. There is a saying in digital art that goes something like this. Imperfection is the digital perfection, meaning making something look weathered, damaged or old will make it more realistic. And this add-on will help you do just that. Brought to you by the developers of some of the best Blender add-ons such as Sketch and Cage and Sketch and Carve and my favorite Respen software Mesh which helps you turn your 3D models into a drawing. Wear and Tear on the other hand, as the name suggests, erodes your models by adding, well, wear and tear to create that used, worn out look. This add-on reminds me of the other add-on called LCD, which stands for one-click damage. Wear and tear add-on produces a stylized as well as realistic looking damage. It can also erode your models individually or all the selected models at once, which is really powerful. You can also easily restore your model to its original state or only a portion of it as many times as needed, so the workflow isn't destructive as you can see. Another great feature is the ability to add mortar between stones or bricks. And yes, some of the features are premium only, but still, being able to add mortar between your bricks in real time is just a different level of control. This can be applied to one or multiple objects or even multiple loose parts on the same object. You can also cover any surface and extrude it using the controls provided through the Annals panel. And what I particularly like about this workflow is that it is really simple and straightforward. You can stack the effects on top of each other. For example, you can easily add tear to your objects and add mortar, and then layer plaster above that. And the plaster will detect mortar automatically in its presence. If you are interested in this add-on, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please subscribe to this channel to stay updated with the latest news of 3D software and the CG industry. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.